and my own academic background, I'm an engineer, and the company I'm leading today is Kik Inno Energy. So it's a multinational, it's a European company from scratch. And what we're doing is innovation in sustainable energy. And for this, uh, one of the three main business lines is about education, about preparing the game changers in sustainable energy for the future in Europe. Mm -hmm. And so your company gives uh, uh, quite uh, importance to the educational issues. And how do you promote, how do you motivate uh, this part of action of your company into mm. young people? Well, uh, education is key for us because since we're trying to change the energy system, at the end, changing even the economic system is not about technology at the end. Mm -hmm. and, and those bachelors that we try to uh, to catch for our education programs, and so far we have screened around 6,000, 6,000 European-wide, is that they come with uh, already a pre-decision, a pre-dogma of what is good and what is bad. So that's why we have extended our education footprint to uh, kids between 8 and 13 years old. Mm -hmm. So they will create their understanding of energy by giving them information. And for this we develop ga games, what mm -hmm. is called gamification, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so they can play around uh, to understand what is to dispatch a coal plant. And if you have, want to dispatch a coal plant, then you have to buy coal from South Africa, then you have to make a boat. So they understand the whole end-to-end -end value chain of energy and that they see that maybe nuclear could be good or could be bad, but that, that at the end they is themselves taking the conclusion whether it's good or bad. It's not somebody in the newspaper or the book telling them it's good or bad. Mm -hmm. It's for them to understand what is the, the whole implications. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do you, do you have a team uh, of young people who are mm, working together to develop those, those programs? Yes. In the and, and a manager or a tutor? Uh, yeah, yeah. In the, in the beginning, we started uh, higher education based, so university based, and there uh, we became a bit too traditional. So we expanded the working group with uh, people from the gaming industry. Mm -hmm. First, second, we fed back out of what we were doing with the students that had come to our courses and left and graduated from our courses to see what was what we were doing right or wrong, and the input from the young people changed like seventy percent of how we we're doing things and what we were doing. Mm -hmm. And did you? Did uh, well, that's your company work uh, with, uh, you know that ESD works, with, uh, is supported with three pillars or under three um, considerations, the social aspect, uh, the educational aspect and the economical aspect. Hmm. How do your company, does your company wear these or combine these three aspects? Well, uh, in our case, education is absolutely present. Economics definitely, because as a company we have to be self-sustainable, so it's it's embedded in everything we do and everything we teach. And uh, the social aspect, uh, everything we do has to have three impacts. Either to lower the cost of energy, to decrease the greenhouse gas emissions, that mm -hmm. could be a link to the social aspect, and to increase the probability of the energy system, that is not so much there. But one thing that's important with energy is that we believe that the next revolution in energy will come from the retail the people's appropriation of uh, what the next change would be. So far, we people have been just users. We took everything that was delivered in energy. Mm -hmm. Now we have to be much more active in deciding what should be good or good or bad for the energy system. Mm -hmm. uh, has your company have any plan to promote this, your activity, uh, into the, the schools or yeah. in the area the Absolutely. They are set on the Absolutely. The so those uh, those games that I said before about uh, for the segment between eight and thirteen year old. So I'm doing the prototypes, and so far so far with 180 students all across Europe. And uh, once uh, we get to the right quality of the product, then it will go to all the education ministries in Europe to say, "Hey guys, this is something that has been tested, that has been approved by already a sample of 180 students, that uh, gives uh, the, what is called the." achieved learning outcomes, the ALOs, that today is a concept in, in Brussels, and uh, then we'll give it that, not that for free, we'll give you that for one year per student just to play with the game, mm -hmm. as a dissemination and rollout of the, of the piece of uh, game. Yeah. And uh, what's then, when they finish this period, how, how, how long does it well, it's a game, so it's not, uh, so so they, not they, they, fixed in time. It's not fixed in time. They have their own rhythm, their own pace. Mm -hmm. uh, but what we try to achieve, what is called the famous ALOs, is that they have the sensibility to understand the end-to-end -end energy system. 
I mean, we're not trying to tell them whether renewable is good or bad or wind or wave energy is the hey do you understand what are the dynamics the key the key factors of the energy system and then of course we do an exam to check that they have absorbed this it's not about again what is good or bad is that they absorbed what is at stake in the energy system and and if in the case they finally do a fantastic project a fantastic game yeah what's the next step we don't know yet because we are just uh, designing, so we don't know. I mean, uh, we, are, mm -hmm. we are just, uh, as I said, why we are doing this? Because we saw that there was a problem in the bachelors that came to our uh, university programs, because they were already dogmatized. So if we are successful in trying to put the seeds of, hey, uh, I want to know more in those 8 to 13 year old, then we'll develop something to bridge between 13 and 20 year old, one year old. Mm -hmm. So we'll develop new programs, mm -hmm. a bit more scaled up in terms of Mm -hmm. uh, whatever mm -hmm. level of, of knowledge and understanding. Mm -hmm. So when they come as customers to our education programs in the university, they are full prepared in this openness How, of mind. Uh, your educational section uh, in your company work with these uh, young people during the developing of, of this yeah. project. Yeah, uh, on this game, something that we uh, is very close to our heart is uh, that they understand all the impact uh, both uh, social, environmental, uh, in sustainability, in economics, that everything that, uh, that is an action has an impact. And for example, if I take the example of uh, nuclear, okay, so okay, now you are going to dispatch the nuclear power station somewhere. So the student, the young kid between 8 and 13, they understand that afterwards they have to bury the waste. And the waste, uh, it's uh, 25,000 years of uh, of uh, uh, atomic waste that is on there that is dangerous. But it's not because it's dangerous that you should not do it. I mean, you have to do a special security things to make it safe. And that has a cost. So basically what we, uh, we push the student to think about all the implications and impacts and consequences of every action that we are today taking. Mm -hmm. And that uh, uh, nothing is for free, number one. Nothing is for granted, number two. And that the environment, um, this uh, waste, uh, nuclear waste, uh, around it, you will kill everything for 25,000 years. Mm -hmm. But, uh, well, maybe uh, you have to uh, do something else in order to balance uh, those things. But that at least that they know the ground facts, so they don't hide uh, away from them, mm -hmm. and that they see all the implications in all those three dimensions, economic, social, and environmental. Mm -hmm. Do you know the person? Uh, you know that today, all our mobiles, if you gather all the energy that all our mobiles consume now, is equivalent to Czechia and Switzerland consumption. So something really? that did not exist 20 years ago. So for, for these the kids, I mean, still uh, when they are eight, they don't know what uh, Switzerland and Czechoslovakia is. But for the uh, bachelors, I mean, 20 years ago, that did not exist, this whole energy consumption. So we say that we're friendly. Hey, we're creating, we're burning gas, coal, and nuclear just to be able to switch our mobiles and to mm -hmm. send the WhatsApp. So also to bring our a small individual contribution to the overall energy system problem, mm -hmm. it's also to meet this link, hey, we are co-responsible what is happening when we use our WhatsApp. <laughs> so this link is very important. Yeah. So better, let's better spend and invest our money in controlling that, in making that sustainable, than on banning anything. Again, it's not about religions, it's about making the best out of everything. Yeah. So it's common sense, no? Common sense, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs>